Hello, everybody. My name is El Sonic, and welcome to another reaction video. But this time, in this reaction video, I'm reacting to, yeah, eh, Multiverses official. I don't know if I should say his name, but then it says it says what's my name before it actually says his name. Like Multiverse, what the frick, man? I've said his name like a bunch of times already. In the previous like reaction to that I did on multiverses for Samurai Jack, remember that? Back to the past, it's time. It was it was called it's time. And this one's called multiverses official Beetlejuice. Oh no, I'll just say bug juice. Yeah, bug juice. Really, it was bug juice. No, it's not bug juice. I know it's not bug juice. It's I already said it. What the heck? I said his name so many times already in the previous video, and I think I believe I've already summoned the dude. I thought he summoned the guy. We can say his name more than three times. Like three more times, we send him back. We can say his name three times. We summon him. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Marvel Multiverse's official Beetlejuice. What's my name? Gameplay trailer. Not my name, his name. What's his name? And I just did it again, didn't I? Yeah, I just said his name like three times already. He's not in here, is he? Nah, nah, oh, what the freak? Eh. So, yeah, it is up on screen here. Bam, that right there. I was just talking about it, and then I'm just showing up on screen. This is what I'm reacting to in this video. Yep, what's my name? It's a Beetlejuice gameplay trailer. Yes, gameplay trailer for, you know, Bug Juice. I just want to say his name again. Why are you saying so many times already? We'll do versus official bug juice. What's my name? Complete trailer. Yes, I know it's real juice. Ow! There, yeah, just had to get. <laughs> Dude, I thought already they did cut loose with saying his name so many times in the previous reaction video. I did on Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack being here, which was cool. And here we are. It's the knit season, and Beetlejuice juice is coming to multiverses. What does it say down here on the bottom of the screen? Huh. Since down here, huh. let me read it for you, to you real quick. Huh. Since down here, need an apparition, need an apparition to haunt your opposition. Yeah, huh. need an apparition to haunt your opposition. We know just the, we know just the bio exorcist for the job. As it says down there in the description for the job, Beetlejuice is letting loose in multiverses, hashtag multiverse, on August 20th. <laughs> yeah, it's like, need an apparition, apparition, or whatever. You need an apparition, need an apparition to hunt your opposition, to hunt your opposition? We know just the bio exorcist for the job. Beetlejuice is letting loose. Is letting loose in multiverses on August 20th. I just don't like reading that again because I guess I just like reading it. It's the same description there. So let's hit play and react to this already, man. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to react to this. Yeah, and I'll just talk. Talking about things here from the previous reaction video on the two verses of love. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna hit play. Here we go. We're gonna start. Oh, oh. Yeah. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna react to this. And then afterward, I'm gonna really say my thoughts or my, you know, analyze the trailer a bit. Yada, yada. You know, that sort of thing. I might re look over the trailer, like, I guess, analyze it. You know, recap what we saw in there. Send my thoughts on it throughout the rest of the video after reacting to it. So, yeah, don't know how long this will be, but we'll find out through editing. What the heck? Yeah, let's go. Let, let's start. Yep, we go. Let's begin. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yep, let's go. Get on with it already. Ah, all right, yep, let's go. Good play. Oh, there he is. I'll just full screen it there. Hey, sitting there, lounging, ready to for tune. <laughs> oh, you hear like lightning? Oh, is that seeing lightning in the background? That's what that was. What, uh, what the fr- Oh. 
Ah. Stupid. What the frick was the thumbnails? The kind of thumbnails that people make. Alright, here we go. Let me play. Let's check this out. Dude, let's see it already. Alright, here we go. Bang. You say my name? No. Was it you? This won't end well, I'm afraid. Ugh, who said my name? Who said it? Uh, can I tell you a secret? Uh, really? Who said it? Who said my name? Whoa! <laughs> Dude! Okay. <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. Come on down for a wheel of pain. Wheel of pain. Ah. Turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Oh, shakes loose. What? What the heck? room for one 80s classic here. Oh. The oh, hell? There's only room for one. And one little snacky after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, in the movie. Yeah, 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 in the movie. Lou or Lou, I said it was only room for one. There's only room for one English classic here. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. We're okay. We just saw the whole trailer there. We're gonna recap. We're gonna start recapping everything now. That's everything we just saw there. That was funny. Keep it together with Wonder Woman. What? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Funny. No, I used. I seen the original, the first movie. They just advertised the the sequel there. Yeah, they did. You saw that, right? Yep. The sequel comes out in September. One yep. Classic here. It's a classic here. That's like kicks out. Yep, August twentieth, right there. It'll just arrive August twentieth. Oh, that's funny. There he is. He's an assassin. Okay. I was wondering what class he's gonna be. He's an assassin. Like what? Ah, ah, what? Loot. He's got all these wacky moves. Such wacky moves. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna actually like playing with this guy for sure. Like, I genuinely can't wait to try and play, play this guy from what I've seen with this guy. But let's review it and see it again, shall we? Yeah! Alright, so, let's see here. Come on! Yeah. One little snacky after midnight! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> My own voice right now. <laughs> I can't really do it with my voice right now. Come on! Come on! Little, what little snacky after midnight? Like, <laughs> oh, why don't you try and force him to eat after midnight? He's trying to make him try to create more gremlins. What's wrong with you? Don't turn turn him little Mogwai Gizmo into a gremlin. What the frick, man? Hilarious. Yeah, Beetlejuice is one of those characters. He he's not he's not a good guy. He's not he's not a good guy, but he's not a, much of a bad guy either. You know, he's kind of an ambiguous character. Yeah, he's an ambiguous character. I wouldn't call him an anti-hero because not a hero or a villain. The guy's just an ambiguous character, like, you know, Loki. Loki! Loki from Norse mythology? Yeah, Loki, the trickster guy, but he's not a good guy or a bad guy, but... I guess it's most times he's portrayed... He's portrayed as a villain in most of the movies, but he's not necessarily a villain or a hero. He's ambiguous. That's how he is. He, he sits in that, the, oh, they say there's a line between good and bad, but there is no line, there is no line between good and bad. Everything kind of blends together, you have to question what's good or bad, and there's those characters that are just in the middle. They're in the middle, like neutral, you know, who's neutral. Like, same with Energia. <laughs> I have the fictional character of mine, you know, Energia, that character of mine called Ener named Energia. Yeah, Energia, he's ambiguous. He's a ambiguous character. He's the same, same he's one of those He's another one of those type of characters that's ambiguous, where you're not sure, you're not quite sure if he's a good guy or a bad guy, you know, but you see from the character's nature, it seems like he's good-natured, light-hearted, and so such, at first. Yeah, energy at first seems like he's light-hearted. You know? Okay, why am I talking about my own fictional character that people get to hear about or know about, unless you've been paying attention across all my videos? You know I've already said so much about this character of mine already. I just haven't made a, a video specifically where I talk just about him. Yeah. 
all I'm really heard on facing with that character of mine, I've spoken so many times about across my channel with someone like Lincoln and keeps mentioning to keeps mentioning him me about like keep mentioning him that uh, mentioning him. You're trying to get me to talk about this fictional character of mine that the only roadblock I'm having trouble with on this character of mine is the concept art. Yeah, I'm having trouble with the concept art. I can't seem to draw the character myself. I've been trying to get other people to draw. But anyway, that's besides the point. So the whole point is this deal. We're talking about Beetlejuice because Beetlejuice is an ambiguous character. Energy is an ambiguous character. Who's not, not really known yet. It's not known to the general public yet. It's not made official or anything yet. Yeah, it's one of those characters that's still behind the... Behind doors until you uh, open the public kind of thing. It's like, yeah, I could make him official. I just need help with creating the concept art on this character. But you hear me talk about throughout my entire channel, throughout all my videos from time to time. But I still need to make a, a separate video made specifically when you're talking about. But anyways, let's get back with this. Beetlejuice is ambiguous. Loki is ambiguous. And my, th my own personal fictional character is another one of those types of characters. But yeah. I'll, I'll talk about him later in his own video. I still need to get to that. This video is a reaction video. We'll talk about Beetlejuice. Try to recap that. Why, how do I start talking about him? Because he's ambiguous. This guy's ambiguous. He's not really a good guy or a bad guy. And look at that. You can see some of the skins already. Who's this in the top corner of the screen? Is that Rana Corn? And looks like I see someone else there. Ah! Ah! That's so cool. That's Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo wearing the Beetlejuice outfit with the umbrella. That's cool. And they got a rift. They made a rift specifically for Beetlejuice. I saw that again already. Which, not until August 20th. So it happens. There's only room for one 80s classic here. Who wants to knock out uh, Jason and jump there? That's funny. For one 80s classic here. What classic here? God, this movement. Come on! I love this story. Alright, let's continue with this. Enough of me talking about. Another thing I need to make a separate video for. I need to make a separate video for my own fictional character. This video is not about him. I'll do that for another reason. This is about Little Juice. Only I only mention him because he's ambiguous and so is Little, Little Juice or Loki or those types of characters are ambiguous that sit between, that kind of blend in with good or bad and question whether they're good or bad. Ooh, which alignment do they fit under? Like neutral and the. Uh, Come on! Mm. One little snacky after midnight. <laughs> God, I can't do it with my voice right now. My voice is like. Ugh. like <laughs> yeah, my voice is like. Ugh, cracking or something. I can't. Do it right now. If I get, drink some water or something. Uh, did, I don't know. <laughs> like a, a, a gizmo. Like, ah, a flat time. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know. That's funny. <laughs> gizmo and Stripe. The gremlins. Why are like you trying to turn a dog lion into another gremlin? Funny. After midnight. <laughs> It's like no. He's like whoa. Look at the way he's walking with Chase and Gizmo. Beetlejuice. Oh, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. And then I say it one more time, a third time. And then you summon him. I said his name, Lord Woods. I said his name so many times in the reaction. Three just like reaction. Twenty twenty four AD. Except, oh, there it is. Dude, why does it go by so fast? You want to advertise something here? And then you go by so fast. September 6th is when this... It's showtime, September 6th. Yeah, you can hear Gizmo in the background still. Yeah, that voice is like... Ah! Excuse me. Hit that. Voice is betraying me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the frick? <laughs> September 6th. I can, I can do that. Just 
kind of hard to do it with my voice right now. Wait, it's another six. Hey, hey, come back here, come on! Just one little snack before midnight. He's ambiguous, he's like that. Oh, the gray line in between good and bad. It's not a good guy or a bad guy. I kind of got that from the first movie. Like, I've seen the first movie of Beetlejuice. The first Beetlejuice movie? Back in 1988? That's how long ago it's been. Now they're making a sequel in 2020, 2024. Really? Didn't the first movie come out in the same year I was born? If I'm not mistaken, right? No? This is a sequel here. Slow low. Little juice. Yeah, that's funny. The <laughs> voice actor. Yeah, great job, like, the voice actor just no strength there. Funny. Yeah. I mean, and I try to do it. It's funny. Or it's fun to try to at least imitate the characters. Even if I can't get an exact, accurate impression of the characters. Like, like these voice actors in Cell Scan, I still like trying to. Because it's fun, dude. It's just funny. I don't know. I enjoy trying to do that. Anyway, September 6th. Experience it in the next. Oh, yeah, you've seen plenty of my videos when I'm playing multiverses. You know, it's on how much I try to imitate the voices that they're saying in the game. I don't know. I guess I just like doing that. Yeah. Based on characters created by Michael McDowell and Larry Wilson. Oh, that's just, just said Alfred. Just... Oh, hey, hey, come back here. Oh my God, I gotta play. I gotta play Little Juice. Yeah. I can't wait to play him. Story by Alfred Golf, Golf Surface to the right, and Miles Miller and Seth Graham Smith. Sorry if I just said that. Screenplay by Alfred Golf and Lyles Diller. Directed by Tim Burton. Yep. Tim Burton. Another Tim Burton film. With like Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, Nine. Yeah, he does. He's, Tim Burton's done so many of those clay animation movies. Clay animation movies like Tim Burton. Everyone knows Nightmare Before Christmas. That's directed by that's Tim Burton. Dead Burton's Night Before Christmas. Yeah. This is Halloween, 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 you know. Yeah. No, this is Beetlejuice. Halloween. Ah! I was just saying because it's Tim Burton. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, that's cool. Great. Great. Ah oh. Yeah. Someone, someone created a video or Samurai Jack Multiverse trailer, but with Samurai Jack theme song. <laughs> someone did a video, but they added Samurai Jack's theme song into it. It's the Samurai Jack gameplay trailer, but with Samurai Jack's theme song. <laughs> they did that little video there. That's funny. Like, what the heck is this, Maximilian? Why did I eat that? <laughs> yeah, Maximilian. Yeah, he, that's another guy who does react to do it, so, of course. You say my name. You say my name. No, no, I didn't say your name. No, I did. No, no, I didn't. Can I tell you a secret? Oh, god damn it. He said your name. Oh, well, I, I did. I said his name. I said his name so many times. Like, ah. Right. And then here he is, he's summoned. You say my name. You summoned him. You know, he came. You said his name three times, and you have summoned him. You came. You summoned them to deal with your opposition, right? You want to get people out of the house? Yeah? If you've seen the first movie, you know what I'm talking about. There are people who took over the house and they want to, they want, the girl wanted to summon Little Juice. Yeah, that girl, you know, who was trying to marry Little Juice. Little Juice was trying to marry the girl. It's like, oh, you've seen the movie, you know, Tom. That's where it comes off as Little Juice is not really a good guy or a bad guy. It's just so, it's that gray line or whatever. You would say there's a gray line. It's just a mix of both neutral, man. At least that's what I got out of seeing Little Juice. I didn't see him as a instant villain or instant hero or good guy or bad guy. It's just, I don't know. From what I've seen over the years, it doesn't, 
It just doesn't seem like a good guy or a bad guy from what I remember from observational seamless to funny like a villain. The Joker. Now that's a villain. But he's still kind of a trickster, like, you know, deceptive kind of guy, like unpredictable and like what chaotic in nature character. Yeah. But he's not he's not ambiguous like Loki. Loki, you know, but Loki is also kind of chaotic and mischief with deception and trickery and lying and, and all that. This guy, just a bunch of chaos, even. We're going to the same shop. I'm like, what? And I, saying, I saw someone say something in the comments on people just talking to Joker. They say it there. I, gotta, I just want to watch this again, of course. You say my name. No. What's the play? What you? This won't end well, I'm afraid. This won't end well, I'm afraid. How about you? Did you say my name? What? Who said my name? What? Ah, I did? I said your name? Let's move on. Who said my name? Who said it? Uh, can I tell you a secret? Really? Uh, can I tell you a secret? Really? You said his name? Who said it? Who said my name? Who said it? Uh, Look at this guy, he's all injured. It, is this like a new, like, result screen? He wasn't all bandaged and damaged here. Banana guard. This, this looks new. Because usually, you see this, like, this is his defeat pose. This is, what, this is what you see on the, like, defeat. Defeated, like, you know, result screen on whether you won or lost. This is what you see if Banana guard loses. Like, he's not all bandaged and beat up like this. That's why this looks brand new. Compared to what we originally see when when he loses. You see this exact similar thing. Only the banana car is not all bandaged stuff right here like this on the results screen. If you lose it as banana car, it just looks like this banana car. Doesn't look like this. I'm noticing little differences with banana car. He said, Hey! No, he said, Hello! He's supposed to say, Hello! And now he's like, Hey! What? He said, Hi? He's just like, Hi! What, hi or hey? Like, what? No, you said hello. Is that like another taunt for the, the uh, for Banana Guard? And this is like another, like, what he looks like when he's injured or something? They change this up. Is this what we'll see now? And what we used to see? Can I tell you a secret? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like staff on the ground here. Uh, Can I tell you new. a secret? Really? Really? Uh, it's only oh, stomping the stoop there. You said my name. How could you? Oh, no. well, thank you. Because oh, he was like, why did you summon me? Summon me to deal with what? Some opposition? No, who said it? Who said it? Uh, can I tell you? Who said it? Who said it? Who said it? Who said my name? Who said it? Do you a secret? Uh, really? Really? Uh, really? She's in her Halloween outfit. I like that. Who said my name? Who said it? Uh, can I tell you a secret? Really? 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 Yeah. Look at this. She's in her Halloween outfit. Yeah, I like how she's in her Halloween cosmetic. In the Halloween event. That's just way in there. <laughs> ah! Showtime! It's showtime! <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh my god. What? You do? Do you see that like snake? Ooh, the striped snake like comes out of there? Like he has to do with the snake somehow. <laughs> ah, you see that snake come out of the doorway? Yeah. Oh, it's Scooby's mansion. Showtime. Showtime. <laughs> What kind of? Did you see it? And then the door opens up, and you see the snakes come out. Like, what the heck? Ah, what was that? Like, what? That's what we saw in the thumbnail. The thumbnail of this video. Beetlejuice has like spikes to come out of them. Showtime! Showtime! See, there it is, right there. You just saw the spikes come out of them, just like there. Yeah, it's showtime! Please. Showtime! It's showtime! Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> like, what the heck? Like, oh! I just stepped in the box another way. Jesus. I want to see that slow motion. 
What the heck? Slow mo, let's slow that down. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that, dude. You see those things in the cartoon. The cartoon had those things. Well, I know the movie kind of had those things too, didn't it? I've seen the first movie. He he tried to look. He tried to marry the girl, like tried to do a wedding, and the the other apparitions, the other people who passed away and died, tried to say his name three more times to send him back because you say his name like i said say his name three times you summon him say his name three more times again say his name three three times again and you send him back where he came from yeah. it's kind of like nix or what's his name the the villain the guy from the sixth dimension that's uh uh an antagonist to superman you try and get him to say his name like backwards or something and then he goes back to the sixth dimension it's a villain or whatever nix or what how i can't pronounce it like a wrong. that's one of uh superman's antagonists like uh, enemies you know who does logic manipulation defies logic like what <laughs> ah! it's like reality warping only with no limitation at all that's logic manipulation of course yeah similar that's why it's similar it's a similar take you know only it's beetlejuice kind of like like i said candy man candy man candy man there's no three times to just summon the candy man so i'm a beetlejuice three times like say his name three times get this guy to say his name backwards and you summon him it's like an uh an enemy of superman you know what i'm talking about yeah it's a similar concept a little different though when they do that, that's just what popped in my head. It's showtime! It's showtime! Woo! That's funny. Alright, who said my name? Who said it? Who said my name? Like, what the heck? What? This right here. Who are you? Well, no. I'm afraid. Oh, who said my name? Who said it? Uh, can I tell you a secret? Who said it? Really? Ah. <laughs> ah. It's showtime. Showtime. I like how it's this. I like how it's this. That right there. What is that? You guys saw that, right? I like this. Showtime. Showtime. Right here. Boom. We see this on the thumbnail of the video before I clicked on it and started playing it. What the fuck? He's got sparks coming out of him, man. This guy's like a, a ghost. He's a ghoul. An apparition or whatever. You see him summoning by seeing his name three times. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, I never seen the first movie. Yeah, it was like from 1988, if I'm not mistaken. This movie came out in the 80s. The late 80s, man. I was born in the late 80s. And I still saw this movie. Man. And now they're they're show, they're doing a sequel for this guy. And you know, oh, Total Man Multiverse is like just uh, a few weeks before the movie comes out on September sixth. Yeah, movie comes out on September sixth. A sequel to this dude. And let's just put multiverses as advertisement, chorus promotion. We get it. They kind of did the same thing with Black Adam, right? Yeah, since that way. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what? Suck it. What? Suck it. He's like, suck it. What? <laughs> what? Oh. He's like, suck it. Like, <laughs> oh. He told the Nana guy to suck it after he hit him. <laughs> Oh, he was trying to do the dumb, the, the dumbbell. Showtime. Ah, okay. He was like, uh, 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 like he's lifting a dumbbell, like, ah, he's like no, I get out of there. And just hit something and sends him up right here. <laughs> ah, the snake comes out of the doorway and like, suck it. It just knocks him back. Ah, ah, what was that? You go bug eye like, like ah, his eyes pop out of his head. I saw that in the first one. I was like, what in the world? 
There's just so much in this trailer. I think it just goes by so fast. That's what it is. Suck it. Ah! Oh, you hit Steven. That one. Like, ah! He's like, ah! What? What is that? that? Don't tell me that's a taunt. Is that a taunt? An Uno? No. Can't be. Whoa! His eyes come out. I was like, ow! Is that an attack? Look at there he is. See? Whoa! His eyes pop out of his head. I was like, ow! That's just saying, ow. Uh. See, there it is. Oh, you can see his head is like, eh. Like, what? Kind of like a cartoon, cartoon physics, but it's like semi like low level reality warfare. He, he does some level of reality warping, but to a low level. Yeah, Beetlejuice, you know, it does. You've seen the movie or the TV show, the cartoon. I showed the cartoon in the previous reaction to the night, yeah, dude. Well, I didn't show the cartoon. I showed like screenshots of what he looked like when it was animated. This is just another take on his appearance, his look. You know, it's more like his live action look in this this here look compared to his animated cartoony look from the 1988 or 1990 or something. I don't. I can't remember what, what year the cartoon came out, but I remember seeing the cartoon. It's been so long since I've seen it. Together in front of Wonder Woman. Do it together in front of Wonder Woman. Ah, ah, what the heck, man? Beetlejuice. It's like, oh, we read his name on screen. I said, want us to summon him? Jesus. Keep it together in front of Wonder Woman. Keep them together in front of Wonder Woman. Ah, keep it together. Ah, what? Keep it together. Oh, ah, keep it together. Try to water, water. Suck it. Oh. Keep it together. Try to wonder woman. What was that? Just see what his moves there. Keep it together. Try to wonder woman. Did he just kick a seed? It looked like he kicked something and it hurled towards Wonder Woman. Like he just kicked it something. I gotta slow it down. Uh, no, they're English. Well, yeah. Suck it. Ah! Look at that. He kicked. What is that? You see that, right? He kicked something here. Uh, what is he kicking? Ah! Kick. What was that? That can't be like a shell or, or an egg. Was that like a gremlin egg? No, couldn't be. Oh, I don't know if I saw a gremlin come out of it. No. His eyes gonna bug on. What is that thing? That's a bug! Ah! He kicked the bug. He kicked an actual beetle. His name is Beetlejuice and he kicks a beetle. Oh wow, that's funny. Oh god. Oh! Oh god. Oh, see, that's a beetle. There's a beetle right there. You went together. Run a Wonder Woman? Yeah, no, slow down so I can see everything. Run a Wonder Woman. Run a Wonder Woman? Beetle tooth. Silly. God, that music. I like the music. Let's slow down. God, I kind of like it. You went slow down. She seems like my kind of cuckoo. He's talking about. Yeah, I look I know, right? She's something? What the heck? That was funny. She seemed like a like kind of cuckoo. Oh my god. Is it, oh, fighting Samurai Jack without his sword. Yeah, I'm season five. Is that guy got his mallet like fists? See, he shape shift his. Ah, uh, look. They got. This is an eye. An eye right there. A mallet. <laughs> shape shift his hands into a pair of mallets. I can do that. She seems like my kind of cuckoo. I love that. Little juice. Stop trying to get me to say his name. Dude, they show his name on screen so many times. Pointing, look at arrows pointing at the name. They got arrows. You got one, two, 
two arrows pointing at the moon. They're like, hey, hey, say this, say his name, say his name, it's a little twist. Oh my god. Oh my god. Funny. Huh? Daddy's gonna buy a new suit. What the heck is like a Daddy's gonna buy a new suit. Look at that. Do that iron giant one, dude. I like the. I saw the Taz one, dude. I like Taz's. Oh my god, Be Taz through Beetlejuice styled. This is Taz Beetlejuice style. Like, dude, let's see if I can find it through this trailer again. Like Taz, you can see Taz is in there, right? Earlier, oh, let's play again so we can see it. Look. That's Tom and Jerry. That's a uh, uh, Daddy's gonna buy. It was Daddy. Look at Tom and Jerry in there. Uh, oh, Beetlejuice skin. Oh, dead. Okay, Jax has always been white. It's like a white gown robe, white robe, and that's a little purple and black in there it's just yeah it's beetlejuice styled their cosmetics like if they looked like beetlejuice like with beetlejuice's like like color palettes basically it's these characters with beetlejuice's color palette that's new that's steven sandline jack look at his sword is green ah ah like beetlejuice's hair yeah little purple and black and white in there New suit, oh dude, dude, nice. You saw the Iron Giant just now, yeah. Good thing, yeah. The Harlequin one, that was nice. New suit. Look at Iron Giant, man. All in, uh, Beetlejuice, like, styled. Dude, kind of like that. Why is that? I like almost every Harlequin skin they throw out. <laughs> Dang, that's cool. That's nice. And that Harlequin skin looks nice. Beetlejuice style. Look at the gun. What is that? Is her hand there? New suit, dude. Okay. Look at nice. Look at nice, Joker. Looks like a uh, Beetlejuice style. The Joker one. Okay. Yep. I like this one hands down already now. What? I, I don't know. I, I, I like Beetlejuice's like pattern of clothing and stuff. Now like, they're all like, now they all wearing it. Look at that. And Black Adam one? The Black Adam one. Harlequin. Black Adam one. There's a green, simple green hair. Uh, green Thunderbolt, green hair. Little purple, purple coat. Ah, oh, dude, look at those boots. <laughs> ah, oh, big man. Nice. I like that. That's neat. Ah, that Joker one. Ah. Uh, it goes nice on this. Dude, there he is. His hair is still green. <laughs> dude, his hair has always been green. It's a Joker, man. Well, he bleached his. Well, there's a story. There's an origin story. He's got so many origin stories. That's the mystery of them. Why just one orange story we gonna have? Why one? We're gonna have so many. Ah, my own fictional character is kind of in some way similar to that. Yeah, energy is kind of similar to that in some way. Yeah, I guess it's similar to the idea. Why just one orange story we got so many? Energy is like that. You know, that's the Joker. That's how the Joker is. <laughs> yeah, I can explain that later in a separate video specifically about energy. Not here, when I talk about it randomly from time to time throughout throughout all my videos, as Lincoln mentions them, or I start talking about it, I always somehow then find that of a pentagonlet or whatever. Alright, anyway, yeah, look at that. Joker. Stripes. That's cool. Oh, the king stomps down and all turns into green fire. Dude. Look at the rain dog. Oh! Agent Smith? Ah, it was just, that's it, man. Not the Jake one. Oh man, he had a Thugs Bunny one, nice. Everyone, everyone has one, everyone's got one. Uh, Marvin Larson. There it is! Oh my god! Dude, I love it. I like that. I like that so much. Cause I like playing Taz. 
if you if you see enough live videos, you know I play Taz all the time. Dude, I like that. Yep. I, I'm getting that. Definitely, of course. Ah! Ah, oh, man! Yeah, yeah, I like that. The green hair and, like, yeah, the kind of... Plus, it's all nasty. Like, real juice. Funny. That's, that's cool. Who fucks bunny in the background? Dude. God. This, this is a variant. This is th like Beetlejuice styled variants of the already existing like characters. That's cool. I like the Tazzle one. The Jake one is funny. He's always sitting in a chair, but that is he. Is he sitting in a chair though? <laughs> no, he makes it look like he's sitting in a chair. He shape shifted himself into looking like he's sitting in a chair. This is his actual body. He morphed his body into looking like he's sitting in a chair. He's not sitting in a chair. He's sitting in himself. Yeah, this is part of his body. It's not an actual chair. He morphed his body into a chair and making it look like he's sitting in a chair. But it's not. That's the thing. He's sitting in himself. Like, this is part of his body morphed into a chair, but making it look like he's sitting in a chair. It's still himself. Is it not? I mean, that's the, it's the same color as him. He's purple, the chair's purple. The chair is himself, because he can shapeshift. Shake the dog and shapeshift. Shapeshift part of his body into a chair, while, and make it look like he's sitting in a chair. But he's not, he's just he's sitting in a chair, you know. You get the idea. Hard to describe, but that's, this is all Jake. He's not sitting in a chair. He morphed part of his body to make it look like it's in a chair. Like, he can morph his his fist into a mallet. So can Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice Deedle, Deedle, can morph his fists into mallets. Like, it's all already his loose right here. That's cool. I'm looking at it, look at it, look at it. I'm looking at it, look at it, look What? Yeah. There's this... So, I forgot what it was called. Drone? The drone, uh, Scyther drone. Yeah, there's a Scyther drone outfit. We've been seeing sneak peeks of that throughout this past uh, event missions already. Yeah. Nice. Look at that one. Dude, he had this in the first movie. Like, hey, look at his face. Come on down for a little thing. Oh my god. Well, I'm fine. I'm fucking, I'm fucking. Look, and then this shows his name again. Arrow, 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 arrow. Little juice, just say it. Oh. He wants you to say his name so he can be summoned. Duh. So he doesn't have to wait in line, you know. Oh, he's got to wait in line until his number is called. He switches his number off with somebody else. Ah, he did that in the first movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Funny. Let's turn on the, Let's turn on the juice! And it just knocks Jake away. Juice, see what shakes. And see what shakes loose! Turn on, let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose! Ow! <laughs> what the heck? Let's turn on the juice see what shakes loose. Shakes loose, uh, what? Oh, he goes inside a coffin. I'm slowing it down so I can see all of his moves. It goes by so fast. You can barely see everything he does. That's why I slow it down. The oh, there's the, that's his, that's like his neutral air attack, right? Oh, I'll see his moveset. I'll see his moveset later. I'm not even react to Into the Rift later this Monday, this upcoming Monday. If I can and upload this in time soon, whenever you see this. Yeah, I'll, react, I'll do a live reaction or whatever to the Into the Rift, where they talk about the next upcoming stuff or, you know, yeah, multiverses, the next mid-season patch and everything. They really they reveal future stuff. Oh, let's see more for Season 3! <laughs> what what do they show for Season 3? Because this is just mid-season, you know? We're almost, yeah, this season, I feel like this season went by so fast. We're already at mid season now, for season two. And now season three is like, feels like it's just around the corner. <laughs> oh, 
season three comes out in September. Yeah, I thought that. <laughs> what? Ow. Man. Yep. All right, moving on. Beetlejuice. Let's turn on the juice and see what takes There. Oh, wait a sec. That was weird. Something to do with his face, but we don't see it. We don't see from behind of it. Ah, there's a beetle. There's a beetle for floating right by him. And then he goes in the coffin. Ah, knock back someone's like. No, and he just freaks. Ah, like he's sleeping in the coffin. Ah, that's funny. There's a beetle flying by. Is that his, like, pet? You got a pet beetle? Where's your science now? Mojo Jojo, where's your science now? I was like, he, he talks to Mojo Jojo. He's interacting with Mojo Jojo as, as he's on the stage. Where's your science now? Oh, that turns on mallet and knocks him back. There's a room for only one of these classic. Oh, look! Do this right here. Beetlejuice! Exclamation mark. It says here, Beetlejuice with a uh, snowflake. I don't know what that is. I gotta, I can't wait to see what his whole new move set is and everything. There's, there's, only, room. there's only room for one of these classic here. It just knocks back Jason. Jason does not have a oh no, wait, does he? Nope, he doesn't. That's just Uber Jason. That's complete over Uber Jason. Yeah, Jason doesn't have a you know, Jason doesn't have. There's a lot of variants that I don't think Jason really has. Everyone else gets a bunch of variants. Uh, alternate variants like Matrix Code, a shark, shark Hat, a Shark on Their Head for Shark Week, Matrix Code for Agent Smith. And now they all get this Beetlejuice variants. Or Cyber Drone variants like we just saw. You know, Beetlejuice and Cyber Drone variant. They already had the Cyber Drone thing, but... His comes in a bit late, I guess. It just, it still teased at it on the event mission. Yeah, teased at it. Mm -hmm. There's only room for one of these classic here. You saw that, right? And he, he grabs on the beetle and kicks him. Oh my god, the beetle comes out of nowhere. I guess it's some of the beetles. There's beetle juice. Classic here. Jeez, only room for one 80s classic here. Yeah, it's from the 80s. <laughs> and yet I've seen both. I've seen Jason. All the Jason movies from the 80s. I've seen this. Yeah, look, there it is. See, that's what I was talking about. We saw that earlier when we hit Samurai Jack. It's like, what? Something up with his face? You don't see it from in front. You only see it from behind. Behind his head. This is a take. This whole thing right here. It's a reference. That's something you did in the movie. If you've seen the movie, the first movie, it's just, oh, it's like, what? Like, ah! Like, you see his face, and it just freak, freaks you out, and it's sent, it sent a Jason flying. <laughs> Seeing his face as an attack just sends you flying. Like, what? Creates that much knockback just by seeing his face from the front, but we, we can only see it from the back. We're not able to see it from the front. It's so horrifying. We only see it from the from the back, from behind, on the back of his head. Instead, we see all this, but we see the back of his head. Ah! I wonder what his face looks. Like. Don't know, but that's why it just so, creates so much knockback. It's so horrifying. It creates so much knockback. It's in Jason's life. Ah! That's funny. I like how they do that. And he kicks a beetle in the air there. There's only one. There's only room for one 80s classic here. Ooh. Come on. Come really good. on. One little snacky after midnight. Oh, 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 oh,
you know, something like that. Uh, funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I just drink some water or something. All right. I don't know, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. They saw the screen line. And it shows Sneak Peek on the movie here. A teaser of the trailer. A little teaser mention of the sequel will come out September 6th. Oh, look, he's, you see the way he's running and he jumps in the air, the air there? God, that's funny. Yeah. Is that a good one? Like, come on! One little snack you after midnight. I was like, ah! Ah! he's just doing that like he's having fun on, on the car. It almost sounds like he's saying, no. Yeah. When it's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. The way he runs there and just jumps. I'm going to love playing as this guy. I can tell already. Oh, yeah. Another assassin character, aside from Strife. So I like playing Strife. Joker is a bitch, it's still kind of fun. Yeah. And, well, Marvin's an assassin. Yeah, people's uh, understanding of what even is an assassin or what even is a mage is like weird because you think, wait, why is Joker a mage? He doesn't throw projectiles. They think mages are characters that throw projectiles or something like that. I, I, the way I've seen it, from what I've seen, it looks like mages are just characters that have just some unconven unconventional, uh, you know, just some unconventional weird way of fighting, you know? They don't have, they don't fight in a conventional norm way, you know? Like, Velma. Velma fights in a weird, unconventional, odd way. So she's a, a mage when she used to be a support, but yeah. So it is Gizmo, they fight in such an unconventional way. They don't fight in a conventional way, like Bruce Wayne, Batman. Yeah, yeah. He fights in his, a conventional martial arts way. And with Bugs Bunny, he fights using cartoon, cartoon physics, cartoon gimmicks, or like I was doing a bunch of cartoon physics, like drop a safe on you or a target on the ground, the safe falls from the air and just lands on you, you're in the way, like, oh, it's the funny, swings a mallet and does all this weird, wacky, cartoony stuff. That's Bugs Bunny. The Joker kind of does the same kind of thing. He's got that wackiness, like unconventional, crazy, random wackiness, too, but he's a mage and he doesn't throw a lot of projectiles. No, it doesn't. Mainly a minor I'm out. Yeah, it's like it's like a brawler kind of character, but wacky. Uh, you know, and most mages they can't like get in there. At, they don't have a lot of close quarter attacks. That's what they're. That's what most people get with mages. They kind of fight from a distance a bit, like throw a pie and someone banana cream pie, in someone's face or drop a drop a safe on someone. Yeah. Joker's amazing, yet you can kind of close distance and almost like a zoner in some way. We're not shooting a lot of projectiles. Some with uh, Marvin the Martian, he's like an assassin, and he looks like he does a lot of ranged attacks. Like he would be a mage, but he's an assassin, you know? Huh. Kind of weird how they label these characters by what class they would be. What is an assassin class? Apparently, so that gives the impression that Beetlejuice is gonna have a lot of consecutive attacks. He's gonna attack very consecutively against assassins. Assassins can do a lot of combos. They do a bunch of combo attacks, like like get in your face, like get in your face doing a ton of combos. Like Harlequin does that. Stripe does that. And Marvin doesn't quite do that at all. He has like projectile kind of attacks. A lot, get he's not a mage, he's an assassin. So again here, it's kinda odd. But I don't know man. That's how they're deciding well, well, well I'm not sure what they're thinking. But how they're deciding is like is is Diddle Juice like a uh, an assassin where he goes in and does a ton of condos consecutive attacks? Like Taz doesn't have a lot of consecutive attacks, very little consecutive attacks. 
one of the only consecutive attacks I can think of is him doing a salt shaker, you know, salt, you know, salt and pepper shakers. And then he, he finishes, finishes it off with a, with a spin, Taz Nato. Finish off with a Taz Nato, like, well, salt shaker, Taz Nato. Yeah, so Taz does. Man. Yeah, that's like one of his mostly his only combos. All his other attacks, they're just single hit attacks. Like his down attack is just him doing a stop with the breaks your shield. And his neutral attack is just him drinking a pot of soup and then spitting it out at you. Which has armor. It has armor. Super armor. There's a shield. There's shield. So you could use that and try to block an attack and then counter. It's like a counter attack almost. He blocks the damage. Well, he doesn't flinch when he does his neutral attack. So I, it's like... I'm, I feel like I'm forced to use Taz's neutral attack because I can't do any combos with Taz. You can't. You can't really do combos with Taz. Other than what? Salt Shaker and like most people, what? That's his old infinite. I think they changed. I don't even try and do that because it doesn't, do, doesn't look very rewarding. It doesn't look very rewarding or satisfying to even like, oh, just stand Salt Shaker and just stand Salt Shaker and use the his neutral attack. Like, Side attack, neutral attack. Side attack, neutral attack with Taz. I'm like, why just do that constantly repeatedly? It's like, oh, that was just infinite. And like, I think they changed that to where you can't really do it as an infinite war, but I never did that because I'm like, why? It's, it just doesn't seem very rewarding or satisfying to me to do that. It's like, you're trying to find a cheap way to attack someone in the oblivion to where they can't do anything back. It's like, Ugh. yeah, I'll pass, no thanks. I'd rather do something that's actually challenging, not break the game to my advantage. I don't care for meta games. So I'd rather there's a bunch of ways, like a bunch of different strategies how I can do something. Instead of being forced to do things the same way as someone else, hence that's what skill is. Skill is so narrow and narrowly focused on everyone doing the same thing, while strategy is more wide. More wide. You have more variety of different strategy of different ways and how you can go about doing something to take someone out you know that's how i think i'd rather play a game where i'd rather be open-ended and unpredictable like you know the comebacks and stuff like that you know they do more challenging for both players but uh, this game doesn't want to do that this game wants to make it like oh we're gonna be competitive and if you're not better than your opponent you can't win like what the frick that's the vibe the impression i get with skill based games it's like which games are more than just skill alone because they can more open-ended chaotic unpredictable why would you want to go against the same person and this is only for them to keep constantly winning every single time that's the problem with skill it's it's predictable not open-ended but their their excuse of fixing that is like oh no well with well with skill based match they we'll just tear you up with a different person through matching and, and you won't fight that same person again. What? You're dodging the problem. You're not fixing it at all. It's like you don't even want to try and fix or do anything about it. You just throw me against a different opponent. And you know, even if I, even if I'm not facing the same person. But if it's local, local multiplayer, we are fighting against someone you know and it's not just random people and through matchmaking. Yeah, you're probably gonna lose against that same person over and over again. Like, it, it, yeah, I could do. This, I could take another example, like say a Mario Kart. This is the same kind of situation, like with Lincoln, and he's gonna win every freaking time to go against some Mario Kart. It, of course, this is so predictable. He's gonna win like every single time. That's the problem. We could do local co-op, like local local multiplayer, not co I almost said co-op where. Yeah, the same person is going to win every freaking time. This is something that Smash Bros. fixes and does so well, where you make it so open-ended and unpredictable, where you want to have the same person win every single match. But that's the problem with skill. It's so predictable where the same person will win every match. And their only excuse is, but like, I guess some people lie, some people don't do rematches. I'm like, what the frick, man? It's disgusting. That's how unbalanced it is right there. I feel like they don't want to try and balance it with trade off or like put comebacks and stuff. That's what Smash Bros. does so well in fixing that. But Smash Bros. was never meant to be playing competitive. 
all these other games, why does it take what Smash Bros. has done and try and make it competitive when Sakurai didn't want to make it competitive? But he started to support the idea after the events of what we saw with, with Brawl, Smash Bros. Brawl, and decided to make it like, okay, I guess they will support the idea. As we see some people in the community who want to try and play it this way, I guess we could support the idea of playing it this way, but we're not going to support it 100% of the time. We'll support it 50% of the time, but not 100% of the time. The idea of playing the game completely, because it can survive on its own without being competitive. Smash Bros. Or, yeah, they didn't want to make it competitive, but some people, the people in the community wanted to try and play it competitive, but Nintendo or Sakurai does not want to, yet they start to support the idea. They want players to play how way they would like to play the game hence why it's so customizable this game not quite there yet or it doesn't look like that's the thing no other game that came out of smash bros is as customizable as smash bros all these other games that try to take what smash bros has done you know take it as a stepping stone to try to create something brand new out of it like Overwatch is the same thing with Two Hearts 2. They take what that game has done and try to create something brand new out of it. You take the same gameplay formula, the same formula, and try to create something brand new out of it. This is the same formula from Smash Bros. Let's try to create something brand new out of it. That's what Multiverse is. They take Smash Bros. gameplay formula, the design formula, and try to create something brand new out of it using Warner Brothers characters. Yeah, it has its differences. It's similar, but also different. Like, this game doesn't do recovery moves. Your up B or up special is a recovery move. It's fast, but here it's not. They don't do up recovery moves in this this game. It just allows you to do just one or two jumps and can still jump on the stage without a recovery move. And yet, there's too much, too much hit stun and ridiculous opportunity combos to where a player can't fight back in this game. But Smash, you can actually fight back. There's not as much hit, hit stun. Or condos, that unless depending on who you're playing as, like you're playing a heavyweight like Donkey Kong or Game Park, you're gonna get condoed. But by lighter weight characters, they can barely move. That's how it is. It's just different by weight classes and snap. But here, it's different by classes. Different by classes. They have, they do classes in here because some of the developers originally worked at Riot, Riot Games. And then moved on and did their own company called Player First Games, Tony, right? They used to work at Riot Games, and that's why some of the stuff in here, like cooldowns in a fighting game and different classes. You got different classes, like an RPG and stuff. Or you can do that and like mold this into a fighting game. So, okay. They, they take game elements from different games and put it into a different game. How they did that with this game. Yeah, a lot of games do that. They take what's already been done as a styration and try to create something brand new out of it. A stepping stone. Take what's already been done, create, use it as a stepping stone to create something brand new. I did the same thing with my own YouTube channel. Yeah, I took what was already been done, what people already do with video games on, as a green content on YouTube. You know, take that as a stepping stone, try to create something brand new. I don't do straight up the same thing. It's not straight up the same thing. It's, Taking what's already done, create some brand new using like stuff with seasonal events. So that's what I do on my channel. Aside from reaction videos, reaction videos or playthroughs and stuff like that off to the side. So that's what I do. Anyway, so yeah, I think I'm pretty much done looking over this trailer here. Even though I was talking about some things or whatever on my thoughts with, I guess, the genre or whatever when I just start talking here. <laughs> Why I do that. Yeah, I know. I guess I kind of. Like I said, I guess my reaction videos are kind of part vlog, part reaction video. I'd be kind of saying my thoughts about what we saw in the trailer, or if I end up start talking about something else. Yeah, that, that's kind of how my reaction videos turn out. This is funny though, this part. The way he walks, and he jumps. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <coughs> yeah, I can't do that right now. Dang it. Why? It could before. September 6th. It's showtime. <laughs> it's showtime! September 6th. Michael McDowell. Because it says name too many times. And they want you to say his name throughout this freaking gameplay trailer. God dang it, man. <laughs> Alright, man. I think I'm done here. That's enough. Like, I guess I'm kind of just... 
I don't know, I'm talking on and on and on through here. Yeah. I think we're, we're done here. That's enough. Yeah, that's definitely enough of me doing this. Me talking about stuff with this video of re. I just want to recap the trailer what we just saw there and look at things there and say my thoughts on stuff in there. It's like, man, it's funny. I can't wait to try and. I can't wait till August 20th to see if I can play the guy just like I did with Sinner Jack. Hold on. Let me play that trailer one more time without stopping it, all right? I'm gonna play the trailer one more time, but this time I'm not gonna stop it. I was playing it, I had it slowed down so it's easier to see everything. You know, recap the trailer and just, I guess, analyze it and such. I didn't see any sneak peek of any other characters like Alpha Girls was in the monitor of the Joker uh, gameplay trailer. I didn't see anything like that in here. Hmm. Like you guys did, let me know in the comments down below, all right? Yeah, I'll say that again later on towards the end of this deal. I want to react to this again, you know. Well, I already react to it. I just want to, let's watch it again without stopping it. All right, normal sleep again. So, here we go. You play. You say my name. You no. say my name. Was it you? No. Was it you? Well, I'm afraid. Ugh, who it? said my name? Who said it? Uh, Who's Oh, who said my name? Who said? Who said? You say my name. No. Was it you? This won't end well, I'm afraid. Ugh, who said my name? Who said it? Uh, can I tell you a secret? Uh, really? Showtime. Suck it. Keep it together in front of Wonder Woman. Woohoo, I love that part. It's a final level. Woohoo! Daddy's gonna buy a new suit. Oh, I love the Taz one. Come on down for Wheel of Pain. Wheel of Pain! Look at it, look at it. Let's see what shakes loose. Where's your science now? Where's your science now? There's only room for one 80s classic here. Only one 80s classic here. And one little snacky after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one little snacky after midnight. God, I love that trailer, the kids play trailer. Keep it together, I'm trying to one of one. There's only room for one in this cartoon here. Let's, it's like something to shake the deuce loose. I can't even say what it said there. What, beetle, like something juice loose? What does it mean? What? So did a thumbnail saying, what if Disney made a platform final game? Weird. Why not? Here. Super. Where was it? Oh, here it is. That's a pain! I love that. Yeah, oops, excuse me. Wrong scene. Here we go. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Yeah, that's it. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Let's see what, uh, let's see what shakes loose. Uh, let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Uh, oh, juice and see what shakes loose. Ah, you can see his face when he did that to Jake. Spooked him. It goes in a coffin. Ah, see, they did that right there. And it, and it sends you flying. It's so horrifying. You can see his face. Can't see it. It's in the back of his hair. And it's just that thing with his face. I wonder what he looked like. They did the same thing in the movie. How many times have I said that throughout this already? A checklist. Where's your sign? Did you say, no, 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 no? Did he try to imitate Mojo Jojo? No, 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 where's your science now? Yeah. Ah. No, 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 where's your science now? There's only room for one 80s classic here. There's room for only one 80s classic here. One little snacky after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! It's all come on! Little one, little room for one little snack after midnight, something like that. I just think it would have sent there, you. Come on! One little snacky after midnight. <laughs> come on! Come on! One little snacky after midnight. Oh my god! <laughs> one little snacky after midnight. <laughs> 
You hear them in the background? And it shows like, yeah, the trailer. They showed September 6th for the sequel. Yeah, all right, that's it. I'm done now. I'm done, this is fun. I had too much fun looking at this game play trailer and everything. All right, guys, that's it for this reaction video. Man, I had too much fun. I can't wait to see this on August, August 20th. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna enjoy playing against Beetlejuice. I did have fun playing against Center Jack, and now it's Beetlejuice's turn. Sweet! Yeah, can't wait. Oh yeah, but they'll probably do Into, Into the, what's it called? Into the Verse? Into the Multiverse or something? Yeah, there's like Episode 3 where they talk over Beetlejuice in the new Rift for him. I didn't, I didn't do a reaction to the live reaction to Episode 1 and Episode 2. Yeah, I think it's called Into the Verse. It's a thing that they do on the Multiverses YouTube channel. But I'll do a live reaction to them too. Into, Into the Verse, I, I believe, Episode 3, which happens this Monday. I'm just guessing. I don't know exactly when it happens. But probably it would happen on Monday. And this comes out on August 20th. Yeah, Beetlejuice comes out August 20th. While on August 19th, on Monday, that's when they'll probably do Into the Verse. Into the Verse... It's a little series thing they do where they showcase upcoming stuff in multiverses, you know, before it comes out the day the day after. It's kind of similar to you know, PSO two New Genesis does their NGS headline. Yeah, it's it's kind of like an NGS headline. Yeah, an NGS headline for PSO two, but it's like an NGS headline for multiverses. It's called Into the Verse for multiverses. Into the verse is like the little showcase to show all future stuff or the game multiverses, just like PSO2, the Genesis, or NGS headline shows future stuff for the game PSO2, the Genesis, that kind of thing. Into the verse, I didn't I didn't react to episode one, episode two. I think I'll do it for episode three this Monday. Hopefully, I can get my reaction to some something time for this Monday, and I'll show a little early stuff. For this mid-season of, you know, Beetlejuice coming in August 20th. They're going to talk about him. They're going to probably go over his moves and stuff in there, too. They'll probably show this gameplay trailer again when I react to it live. After reacting to, you know, Into the Verse. Is it called Into the Verse? You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's the thing they do with, with uh, multiverses. See, let me go to the web page and see here. But yeah, this is it for this video. I just want to say all that stuff there and such. Yeah, it's called Into the Verse, is it? Yeah, Into the Verse. Path of the Samurai, Into the Verse, Age of Sniff. Age of Sniff, that was the first one. And there's one called Into the Verse, Path of the Samurai. Yeah, you see it here on screen. What the heck? Yeah, see, right here on screen. Yeah, this one is Into the Verse, Age of Sniff. This one's Into the Verse, Path of the Samurai. Ah, it shows Angel Smith right there in the thumbnail with a pie in his face. He gets pied in the face. And this one right here is the Into the Verse, Path of the Samurai. That was like two weeks ago. And they're going to do the same thing. Into the Verse with the, uh, you know, Into the Verse for Beetlejuice. Which I'm pretty sure that's going to happen on August 19th. Yeah, they're going to do one on August 19th. Before Beetlejuice comes out August 20th. I'm, I don't know that for sure, but we'll have to wait and see. Probably. That's probably when they're going to do it. Of course, they're going to go over Beetlejuice and say his moves and everything. Show the gameplay trailer again. I just reacted to it in this video. But, but yeah, that's it. I enjoyed watching that. Can we see more of this or whatever, you know, when this comes out August 20th? Yep. What do you, what do you, what do you guys think? Yeah. What do you guys think of Beetlejuice thing and multiverses? Can't wait to play them, right? Eh? Yeah, I can't wait to try and play them. Check him out. I said his name, his name too much. I know I said enough a lot throughout this reaction video too. I said too much in the previous reaction video. What the heck? Which was over Samurai Jack. Now this one's little juices. Yeah. There you go. See, I said it again. God damn it. Who said, who, who said, who said my name? Who said my name? Who said it? Who said it? That's a good secret. Really? That's funny. They do that in the trailer. God, the little freaking snakes. The uh, black and white striped snakes. Like, I feel like I've never seen those in the anime cartoon. They show those in the movie. 
Or how many times have I said that? I don't know. But yeah, let me know, let me know what you guys think about the old juice, the multiverses, in the comments down below. Yeah, dude, like. Yeah, and hey, if you enjoyed this video, you know, let me know whether or not you like this reaction video. You know, by smacking that like button or whatever. Totally up to you, you know. I guess if you're new to my channel, you know, if you watch this far into the video, if you watch this far into the video, uh, I guess if you enjoy this video, you like to see, if you watch this far in the video, I guess if you'd like to see more content like this or another content on my channel, then, well, you could subscribe. You could, if you like to. Yeah, if not, hey, that's cool. Thanks for watching this far into the video. Even if you're not interested in subscribing, but if you do, if you are, then, hey, well, all right. Welcome Lord. Thanks. Much appreciated. Yeah. Seriously. Same with all of you guys who got me to there I I now have over one thousand of you guys. Seriously. Thanks again, as always. Really. I don't know what else to say about it, but really. Thank you. Thanks for being part of my channel. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being on my channel, right? And such. As who knows, at some point I who might I might be able to actually do something with this, you know full time like i would i would do this full time if i could and such yeah sure why not i know i said this is my six year anniversary vlog <laughs> and 1000 miles 1000 subscriber milestone special live stream video but i guess i'm mentioning again this reaction though. anyway yeah so you like to see like to see more you can subscribe tell it to you that hey thanks again as always right so yeah right as always, well, yeah, there's also, there's also my social media in the description down below if you want to keep up with everything. I know what I might be doing next, like sound notification, blah, 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 you know how that is. If you don't miss another live, like, live video or upload, upload like this, whatever it is, hope I get this upload soon. Yeah, <laughs> as we do this recorded, yeah. And sometimes they go live on Twitch, or I can let you know on X or my Discord or what I'm doing next and such. So, yeah, totally up to you. Hey, you guys know, you guys already know how to do You're not new. Thanks again, as always. Really much appreciated. There's, I feel like I want to say more than that. But I can't find the words. Yeah, and I guess to try and show my appreciation, I started doing this whole community game night thing where I could play some games with you guys. You know, instead of just you guys watching me play game, no, it's not. All my other videos are just you guys watching me or play the game, or you guys are more than welcome to join in and play along with me. But we do that on this uh, this new thing I started doing called Community Game Night. But anyway, yeah, all right, there's enough dog in there. But yeah, you know, subscribe, like, all the blah blah blah, social media description down below, blah 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 blah. You get it. Totally all up to you. But hey. Anyway, again, as always, yeah, that's up to you guys. Yeah, you can do it. As always, thanks again for those who have already been with me all this time. Yeah, so, anyways, like always, that said, yep, thanks for watching, everybody. Mm hmm. Man, let me move this back over here real quick. Beetlejuice did not show up in my room. Don't forget him. Hey, is that him over there? What? Nah, I'm just kidding. And I cut the video out. Oh, I could have done that if I was going to edit that. And I'm thinking that ahead of time. Whatever. Anyway, yeah. Like I said. Yep. Yep. You know. As always. And with that said. <laughs> thanks for watching, buddy. Mm -hmm. I'll see you next time. Yep. Bye. Woo. <laughs> oh, yeah.